Hi, I'm Travis Armstrong with Harvest Automation, and I'd like to talk to you today about running your robots with a shared boundary team. When you have two fields that are adjacent to each other, you can set up two different boundary tapes, like what you see here, and run each robot with its own boundary tape. But I'm going to show you how to use just a single boundary tape down the middle and run both robots off of that one tape. To do this, you want to lay out a single boundary tape right in the middle of your walkway between the two beds. And as usual, it needs to be perfect, you know, nice and straight, like any boundary tape. Uh, you don't need to have the tapes on the outsides, but we're just not going to take them up for this video. Uh, you, this does work when you need a walkway in between your two beds, because you are going to have a few inches between the boundary tape and the first set of pots. When you're setting up the parameters for your robot, you want to make sure that you have at least a six inch offset from the boundary tape in your spaced plants. This is so that when the robot's driving by these plants that are, that are closer than that to the boundary tape, it's going to slow down quite a bit to protect that laser from any obstacles that are over here. So to keep everything at full speed, you want to have at least a six inch offset from the boundary tape in your configuration. And when you start your robots, you're going to want to make sure you have a seed, plot, a seed plant on each side of the boundary tape so that each robot has one to go on. As your robots are running, when they see the other robot across the boundary tape, they'll automatically slow down or come back up if necessary to let the other robot go back. So I'm Travis for Harvest Automation. Uh, this is how we set up the robots using a single boundary tape. Uh, sharing that boundary tape, come down the 